Did you recently receive an SSDI denial and you aren't sure what to do next? My name is Caitlin Wildoner, and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. Today, we're going to discuss what you can do if your SSDI application was denied. Number one, you want to review the denial letter. Carefully read the denial letter from the Social Security Administration. Understand the reasons for denial, which may include insufficient medical evidence, failure to meet the disability criteria, or technical errors in the application. Number two, understand the deadlines. Note that the deadline for filing an appeal is typically 60 days from the day of the letter, plus an additional five days for mailing. You have that amount of time to file your request for reconsideration. Failing to meet that timeline may result in having to start the application process all over again. Number three, actually file that reconsideration appeal. The first level of appeal is the reconsideration stage. You will need to request a sub, uh, you would need to submit a request for reconsideration and provide additional evidence to strengthen your case. When filing that request for reconsideration, include any new medical records, test results, and updated statements from your healthcare providers. Again, you don't need to actually obtain the records if it's too difficult to do so, but you do need to tell the Social Security Administration about all medical providers so that they can make the efforts to obtain them. If they have difficulty in getting records or responses from your providers, they may ask you for help in obtaining those updated records. Number four, if that request for reconsideration is denied, you will want to consider filing a request for hearing before an administrative law judge. And finally, number five, consider consulting with a disability attorney. Seeking help from a disability attorney who specializes in Social Security disability claims can help provide valuable guidance where they review your case, and they can also help to gather necessary documentation to help strengthen your claim. Thanks so much for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.